thing here when we're trying to make a small uh, or tiny planet um, image is that we need to start with an equirectangular image. Now the best thing to do for that is to use something like the Xiaomi 360 Sphere Cam, uh, which you can see I've got set up here. But there are some alternatives, and I'm going to talk you through that. Right, now taking an equatorial equirectangular, I'll learn to speak one day, image on the Xiaomi camera is pretty simple. So I'm going to go into my photos, I'm going to use the MySphere app for this one. I'm going to click on the camera. I'm going to click to connect to my Xiaomi device. In the moment you'll see it's connected to my own device, so I need to wait for that Xiaomi uh, Wi-Fi to start to show up. It should take a second or two. It's normally pretty good. There we go. Connect to that one. Then we press back. It should now take me through. Good. So if I spin around on here, you can see I'm here. Now, the big problem here um, is that I'm quite a core part of this image, so I'm going to get myself much further away. Ideally, hide behind something or duck down because I'm taking it from the phone so I don't have to be that close. Okay, and when I'm ready, I'm going to press on the trigger button, take a picture. Now, if I go back, and I go right back into the photo section. Wait for that to load. Okay, there we go. You should see an image here. Let's wait for it to load up. Okay. And then on the options at the bottom of the screen, we can do things like drop it into spherical or flat. And the flat image here is effectively the tiny planet or tiny world image that we're looking for. But instead of doing it on here, what we're going to do is take this image, download it, and put it onto the uh, GIMP so we can better process it. Okay, whilst Whilst we've got the um, tiny planet image on our Xiaomi app, and again, I can click on the bottom and I can change this, splat, spherical, tiny planet, crystal ball, panorama. Um, but if I keep clicking and get that back to this tiny planet image like that, okay, we can move it around a little bit. The thing is I need to get it off in this format. So what I want to do is I want to export it. And what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to copy the URL. Okay, I'm just going to put something like test as a message here and put share. And it should then export it to somewhere that I can then access that elsewhere. Okay, so that might take a few seconds because my connection at the moment is not very fast. As you can see, it's taking a little bit of time. Um, but once it's uploaded, we should be able to just share that link and access it on a different device, in particular in this case my computer, where I can then start to edit it in GIMP, which is what I'm looking to do next. Okay, if it's been quite slow to export the photo in the uh, uh, rectangle view from the Xiaomi software, there is an alternative way. So one of the things we can do is we can reopen the original one. You can see we can rotate that around and like before if I click on the bottom we can see it in the tiny planet or the different viewpoints. Now when it normally exports this you get this as a um, kind of double circle view but we can export it either by clicking on there and send it through something like WeChat or if we click on the edit option and don't use a filter but press save then what happens is that will just drop into your normal gallery view. So if I now go into the gallery view on here, you can see this has now changed this into a rectangle. And with the rectangle view, we can now edit that within GIMP. Okay, now if we don't have, let's get rid of that message. If we don't have the uh, Xiaomi 360 cam, we can still take 360 images. But what we need to do is we need to use another app that allows us to capture quite a few hours. But for the case of this one, I'm just going to use Google Street View, which might seem a bit bizarre, so we agree to all the random Street View requests. In the bottom right-hand corner, there we go, more requests, we're going to hit the Photosphere, and that will allow us to make a tiny world image afterwards, so I'm going to click on there. And it says, create Street View with your phone, so I'm going to press Open Camera. And what it says now is you have to line up with the dot, and then you keep on moving around, and each time you do it, you hold it in the position of the dot. And the sun's in my eyes a bit here, so I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'll try. Now, unlike the 360 cam, it's not taking the whole thing at once. All it's doing 
is taking a series of small objects, sorry, small photos, and then stitching them together. But the nice thing with this is, any piece of equipment you've got should be sufficient, okay? So we're going around because we want to put a sky on here, otherwise it's going to be a little bit two dimensional. It's getting really hard to see now because the sun's quite low today. So we're going to get a little bit of duplication here, but hopefully when this stitches this together, this will work. Okay, now if we want to go really high, we can do this top bit. Right down here, we can even add in the ground. Now the biggest problem here, and I've got a feeling I put it wrong on this occasion, is if you move slightly, obviously your image tends to have a few issues. So when we're finished, we're going to press on tick. We didn't get the whole of the bottom bit down. You say it says one ready to publish. So what we should be able to do now with this one is if we select this image, so you're going to select the video to wait for it to load. Still loading. Okay, there we go, there's our image. So it's now showing this as an image. Orm will let me upload it onto Google. I don't particularly want to do that at the moment. What I want to do is I'll download that and use that elsewhere. So if I now go into my photo roll, I should be able to see that. So I'll pause this while I just quickly test that. Okay, you can see in my camera, this is the shadow roll. I've got an equirregular image of the aerial. The trick now is to download this one. Um, and put it onto the uh, computer to play around with the GIMP in order to edit it. Okay, once we've got all the uh, images onto the computer, the next bit's fairly easy. So when we made the first image using the Xiaomi camera, this is what we got. And what you can see here, if I just minimise this a second, is the two sides of the sphere. And basically what you should be using is stitching software to pull that together. But if you use the edit or export option on the app, then what you will have got is this image. Okay, so it's the same one, but it's in the rectangular view. So it's already pulled it together. You can see there's some interesting colouring there, depending where on the camera it is. And this one is the street view panorama. This is the one I did using the Google Street View. But again, you could do the same with any of the um, other 360 camera options. This one obviously doesn't have me in it because I'm the rotating point. I'm effectively the tripod on this one. This one, I'm kind of hiding at the back there, being a bit creepy. Okay, and this one again, you'll see, because it's effectively the same one or a variation on it, depending on when I took it, is there. Now, I can't use this image. I mean, it's interesting, and the resolution is particularly good, actually, if you can get right in on it. Um, so you get a really interesting idea of what's there. So I'm going to close this one because we don't need it. This one we can use, and so can we use this one. So what we do is we go onto the filters, and we go to the maps, and within the maps, it's really simple. You just click on Tiny Planet or Little Planet, and you'll see it immediately makes it into a little planet. Now, at this point, you can start to play around with it, so you can pan it, okay, so you see it at different angles. You can change the tilt, so it's either one way or the other, okay? That's entirely up to you. You can zoom it. I just reset that one for a second so that it's a bit clearer to see. Okay, so I can now zoom that so it's further in or further out, depending on your viewpoint. And on mine, I like the trees. I don't pretend to be an artist, but I would argue that possibly those trees could be better angled than I've done in here. And we can do the same with this one. So again, with this one, we can go on to the tools, go across to the filters, down to map, go on to little planet, and again, we should get the same effect on this one. Okay, so even without the um, 360 camera, we can make the same type of image here. The only difference is it took me quite a bit more work to get this into a position where I could use it. Okay, probably not interesting, but that's actually the house I grew up in. Okay, anyway, once you've done this on GIMP, what you need to do is you need to go File, 
and you need to go to export as. Now I'm putting all these into here, so I'm going to put this as uh, Little Planet Street View, and I'm exporting it as a JPEG file. If you don't see the options there, you may need to click on Show All. Uh, sorry, Show the File Types. Scroll down and click on JPEG within this. Okay, but mine's already bringing it up, so I'm going to press on Export. The quality is at 90%, which is fine. If you want to push it a bit higher up to 100%, that's also okay, and then that will export. So that's my little planet one done. I'm going to flip back across to this one. I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a file. I'm going to export. This is still going to this art folder I'd used before, but this time I'm going to rename this one because this was the one off the Xiaomi one. So I'm going to call this one Little Planet, and I'm going to call it Xiaomi Sphere if I can type, and I'm going to press export, and I'm going to press export. Okay, now I can close this, discard the changes because I've saved the exported file, and in here we should now see our two tiny planet ones. So I can then open that with a different application if I want. So let's open that with thumbnail just for a minute. I'm well aware I'm using Linux here, but other than a slight difference in variation, all of the GIMP stuff works just as well on the Mac or anywhere else, okay? PC, whichever program you're using. So you can see, you can see a nice view of this here. And if you don't have GIMP, if you just go to GIMP.org and download it, it's a free program. It's very similar to Photoshop. Anybody who's using Photoshop will disagree with me, but it does some amazing photo editing stuff with it. Okay?